So we start off today's video with this abstract art sculpture design, as well as a coaster. Ooh, that apple crumble looks delicious. All right, so obviously she's using clay in order to make these items. Looks like she's just kind of cutting out some shapes here. And this is a really pretty aesthetic playing into that modern trend. We already saw the final result. So this is actually, I would say, a pretty easy project to replicate. So after you mold that clay out, you are gonna want to do the painting. Not sure if she used air clay or not. But then we also see this bowl. Okay, so this one definitely uses air clay. And with the air clay, you don't have to, you know, bake it or anything. You're just basically molding it. Now she is making a nice little like decorative bowl here. There's many different ways that you can use the decorative bowl. I have one that looks kind of similar to the design that she's gonna be doing. And with mine, I typically like to place like the decorative balls that you can, or the spheres that you can find. Um, you can also make your own too. I actually feel like this bowl might be a little bit harder to you know, replicate versus the sculpture that she made in the previous clip. I don't know why, but I'm just looking at this and it's, at least she's being more detailed with the video. So we see what really you know goes into making it. Oh, this is so pretty. And like I said, you can use this bowl for many different, you know, items or ways to decorate. She used hers as like a jewelry bowl. Very cool idea. Next up, we have this DIY rug. So this is definitely a TikTok trend. Let me know if you guys would actually try this one. But it basically mixes two different rugs together to make a new one. So they use cardboard here in order to cut out the shapes that they're trying to make. And you wanna really be like accurate with this process because if you mess it up, yeah, that's why she's numbering them. It's a lot of steps with this. I feel like it's worth it though if you want a rug that looks like unique or has like that cool like pattern and aesthetic, this is how you would achieve that. And it's also going to be more of like an original, so. Yeah, that came out great. I like the color scheme too. And you get two rugs out of it. Well, I mean, you started off with two, but you get two patterned rugs. I like that bench that she has at the end of the bed. That is so pretty. And she just decorated it with candles. So cool. Oh, wood-based candle holders. They kind of look like big, you know, stacks of cement or something. 
So this person decided instead of buying those expensive candle holders from Z Gallery, was it? They're gonna make their own. So they're using wood in order to achieve this aesthetic. Now, obviously, if you don't know how to work with wood, it would be harder to replicate this. I would say maybe you can try to find some wood pieces. You know, sometimes at Ikea, they have like scraps of, you know, pieces and you can just kind of grab those. But yeah, it would be hard to find this to do it yourself if you don't know how to work with like all these high tech, um, objects that she's using here, the sander, the wood cutter. So yeah, I'd, I'd classify this particular project on the advanced side. <laughs> The easiest part would just be painting the wooden pieces. Oh, those came out great though. I think they look nice, very high end. Oh, look at that fire pit, that is so pretty. The mirrored wall in the background. I really like their whole like vibe and aesthetic that they have going here. Very relaxing. What you can do with plaster? Well, we've seen all over TikTok, there are many ways you can play with plaster. See what this person ends up doing. Pour it onto Pexi glass plate. Attach onto wooden plate with the mounting glue. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. They created like this really pretty 3D art artwork. Wow, that is gorgeous. Very cool. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed sharing. Oh, they framed it. Not framed it, but they mounted it on canvas and then placed some wood around it. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, you guys, I hope you did enjoy all of these DIY project ideas. If you did, please be sure to give today's video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.